Hi, uh, today let us discuss about ratio proportion and variation as a topic, which is this is a major part where a uh, lot of uh, concepts are been depended like time and distance, time and work and all. So let us see the first question. The ratio of ages of A and B is 3 is to 1. So the ratio of their ages has been given A is to B is equal to 3 is to 1. 5 years ago, ago means past minus the ratio of their ages was 5 is to 1. 5 years ago, it is A minus 5 a minus 5 and this is b minus 5 what is the ratio 5 is to 1 5 is to 1 find the respect to present ages of a and b so the conditions is given first condition second condition let us substitute 15 and 5 yes 3 is to 1 first option is substituted now let us subtract 15 minus 5 is 10 5 minus 5 is 0 so you cannot have first option as an answer 24 8 yes 3 is to 1 so 24 minus 5 is 19 8 minus 5 is 3 19 is to 3 no way it cannot be 5 is to 1 60 and 10 first of all 60 and 10 is 6 is to 1 it cannot be possible so finally we have 30 and 10 let us substitute 30 and 10 yes 3 is to 1 30 minus 5 is 25 10 minus 5 is 5 25 is to 5 is nothing but 5 is to 1 so that's how you can solve the problem rather than solving equations and all let us see the next question. Good. A garrison of 1600 men is provisioned for 18 weeks at the rate of 25 kgs per day per man. Means what is the total quantity over there? 1600. One day each man can eat 25 kgs. Like that for 18 weeks they can eat. This is what the total quantity they are having. If some more persons join the garrison, that is 1600 plus some k or x the provisions would last for 16 weeks at the rate of 20 kg per day per man is asking find the number of persons joining the garrison so if at all the same quantity is there available if at all 1600 some plus k they are eating 20 kg per day like that it has been extendable to only 16 weeks now is asking what is that k value now we have 1600 into 25 into 18 here we have 1600 into 20 into 16 plus whatever it is so what we can do is that we can solve it and find out what is the value of k so let us solve it so it is 1600 into 25 into 18 and 6 is equal to 1600 into 20 into 16 let us take 1600 common whenever you are taking 1600 common it is 25 into 18 what is 25 into 18 25 18 is 450 this plus comes towards this side is minus 20 16 is 320 is equal to k into 20 into 16 k into 20 into 16 so this is what it is so 1600 450 minus 320 is 130 is equal to k into 20 into 16. So this is 1600s. This is 20 fives. So it is 13 fives, 650. The 130 into 5 is 650. Therefore, how many of them have joined? 650 of them have been joined extra therefore this the provisions has been lasted for only 16 weeks since each of them is eating 20 kg per day per man let's get, get, get back to the next question the incomes of a and b are given they are the ratio 4 is to 5 so basic thing is income is equal to expenditure plus savings now the income ratio is given 4 is to 3, expenditure ratio is given 5 is to 4. Income 4 is to 3, expenditure 5 is to 4. 5 is to 4. Find the ratio of the savings if A spends, this is the main condition. A spends, spending is expenditure. How much? 
थ्री फोर्थ ऑफ इज इनकम इस एक्सपेंडिचर इज थ्री फोर्थ ऑफ इज इनकम उस इनकम इज इनकम इज इनकम व्हाट इज इज इनकम इज इनकम इज फोर पार्ट्स सो व्हेन नाउ इट इज गिवन लाइक दिस द बेस्ट पार्ट एंड द बेस्ट वे ऑफ सॉल्विंग इज we can assume a is income that is 4 as some 4k k can be any natural number so what i am taking is 4 into some 100 now i assumed this as 400 i assumed this as 400 then this becomes 300 now what is a's expenditure 4 4 gets cancelled this is 300 so a's expenditure is 300 Whenever this is three hundred, five sixties is three hundred, four sixties is how much? Four into sixty is two forty. So A's expenditure is three hundred, B's expenditure is two forty. Income minus expenditure gives you savings. What is A saving? Four hundred minus three hundred hundred. What is B savings? B savings is three hundred minus two forty is sixty. So he is asking what is hundred is to sixty. What is hundred is to sixty? Twenty five is twenty three is. Therefore, the ratio is five is to three. This is one more very good model. A person contains twenty NPs naya paisa. That's in the previous model. Twenty paisa, twenty-five paisa, and fifty paisa coins, and the ratio of five is to six is to four. So it's clearly said that twenty pais, we have five. Twenty-five pais, we have six. Fifty pais, we have four. This is the basic thing. Five is to six is to four in the sense, it can be five k, six k, four k. Now find the total amount given that the total value of twenty-five pies coins, whatever the value is there, five k, six k, four k. The value is twenty-five pies I into six k. Is how much more? One rupee more than the total value of twenty pies coins. So it's said that twenty-five pies coins, twenty-five pies I into six k. Minus twenty paisa, twenty paisa into five k. The difference is nothing but one. That's what clearly given. So this twenty five six is one rupee fifty paisa. So it is one point five zero k minus zero point two zero into five is one k is equal to one. So it is. 0.5k is equal to 1. So what is k is equal to k is equal to 2. Means the value of k is 2. Is asking find the total amount over there. So since the value of k is 2, 5k plus 6k plus 4k is 15k. That is what uh, k value is 2. So we can substitute 20 paisa into Five twos is ten. Twenty-five paisa into six into two is twelve. Fifty paisa into four k. Four into is eight. So we have here. We have here this as ten twenty paisa coins, which is nothing but two rupees. Twelve twenty-five pies coins, which is nothing but three rupees. Eight fifty pies coins, which is nothing but four rupees. Four plus three plus two, seven plus two. Total it is nine rupees. Therefore, what is the total amount? Nine rupees. So this is very lengthiest part. If at all we can use a proper common sense by using the first here equation itself. Twenty pies coins five and twenty five pies coins six. Twenty five six is one rupee fifty pies are. And twenty five twenty pies coins is five. Twenty pies coins 
5 is 1 rupee the difference is 50 paisa but how much you need to have you need to have a difference of 1 rupee whenever you need to have 1 rupee when k value is 1 your difference you got 50 paisa put k value 2 you will get the difference as 1 rupee that is it you can substitute here itself too and you can solve but this kind of thought process you will get only once you can practice these kinds of questions go to the next question excellent model a diamond fails down not fails it is falls down and breaks into three pieces uh, we all know once if at all a diamond has been down has been broken the value decreases the value of the diamond is proportionate to the square of its weight value is proportional to square of its weight so this is what given so what are the individual weights it is 2 is to 3 is to 5 where we can write it as 2 is to 3 is to 5 is 2 by 10 3 by 10 and 4 5 by 10 so the value of it is square of its weight so square is whole square into what is the total value 20,000 same way whole square into 20,000 whole square into 20,000 so we will get the values of individually here it is 4 by 100 into 20,000 so 100 20,000 two zeros two zeros gets cancelled 4 into 2 is 8 and we have only two zeros left out so we will write two zeros 800 I repeat 2 by 10 is 4 by 100 10 square is 100 two zeros in the denominator and two, two zeros in the numerator gets cancelled 200 into 4 is 800 same way 9 into 2 is 1800 again same way 5 square is 25 25 twos is 1500 so what is the total now the value is 500 5000 plus 1800 6800 plus 800 so after breakage this is the value but what is the loss in the value is also is talking about the loss total value is 20,000 minus loss value is 7,600 so 20,000 minus 7,600 is 12,400 so this is how we can solve but again if at all you are a bit clever and if at all you are doing a lot of uh, questions uh, using this particular uh, values and all like these kind of models we can solve it in a better way and most significant way what is that better way or most significant way is that we know the total weight is 2 plus 3 plus 5 is 10 10 square is 100 now what are the other squares 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 4 plus 9 is 13 5 square is 25 so 13 plus 25 is 38 so he is asking whenever 100 parts 100 how did I get 100 because 2 plus 3 plus 5 is 10 10 square is 100 100 parts is 20,000 is talking about loss is talking about loss loss means 100 minus 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 5 square is 25 4 plus 9 13 plus 25 is 38 100 minus 38 is 62 is 62 and 100 is 20,000 62 is how much 100 200 is 20,000 62 200 is how much 12,400 so this is the best way of solving but this is the procedure the ratio of num we will go to next question the ratio of the number of boys to girls in a class is 2 is to 3 if 5 boys leave whenever it is boys to girls is 2 is to 3 let us assume um, the boys is 2x 
and the girls is 3x if five boys leave the class five of them leave the class leaving means minus and five of them girls join the class five of them join the class the ratio becomes one is to two find the number of boys in the class initially initially boys is to girls is two is to three so this is what said so we need to find out how many boys are there initially so whenever if at all we are assuming the boys as 20 20 minus 5 if at all the boys is 20 x value is 10 20 minus 5 is 15 whenever x value is 10 now the girls will be 3 into 10 30 30 plus 5 is 35 so 20 minus 5 is 15 by 35 cannot be 1 by 2 therefore first option it cannot be answered now take the second one if at all the boys is 30 2 into 15 now 3 into 15 is 45 30 minus 5 is 25 2 into 15 is 30 minus 5 divided by 3 into 15 why because for all your assuming the total number of boys is 30 definitely x value should be 15 plus 5 so what is 30 minus 5 25 what is uh, 45 plus 5 50 25 by 50 is 1 by 2 therefore your answer is 30 is talking about mean proportion we need to know what is meant by mean proportion a b c are in continued proportion or mean proportion b square is equal to a c this is called as mean proportion now we know a is 4 and c is 9 so what is b b is equal to root a c root over 4 into 9 root 4 is 2 and root 9 is 3 2 into 3 is 6 therefore what is the mean proportion 